So, in mini lesson one, we made our first attempt to understand what creative nonfiction is by pretending we could categorize all nonfiction as either uncreative or creative. For our second attempt to answer the question, what is creative nonfiction? Let's make a similar stretch. This time, let's pretend there's always a clear distinction between the factual and the fictional. So, what is creative nonfiction? Think of it like this. The story is factual. The storytelling is fictional. That is, the writers of creative nonfiction employ the techniques of the writers of fiction in order to give their work a more literary quality. And as with writers of fiction then, the writers of nonfiction are concerned with character, point of view, setting, structure, exposition, action, resolution, and dialogue. Their goal is to shape real life events with these fictional storytelling techniques to create factual yet also literary stories. As an example of a published piece of nonfiction that illustrates my remarks about a factual story with fictional storytelling, we'll carefully consider Savages, which is an excerpt from Frank Conroy's memoir, Stop Time. As we read Savages, let's pay particular attention to Conroy's detailed descriptions of the characters of Teddy and the setting of Fremont in the exposition of his story, his suspenseful narration of the action of junior boys running loose on the grounds for most of the night, and the thoughtful resolution of his story in the last paragraph of the excerpt. Now, you may have noticed that the word literary popped up a couple times in the second attempt to say the question, what is creative nonfiction? I should point out that creative nonfiction is actually also known as literary nonfiction. In a way, the alternative term literary nonfiction might communicate more clearly the important point that this semester, we will attempt to employ literary devices, styles, and techniques to tell factually accurate stories. Or, as Lee Gutkind, the founder and editor of the influential literary journal Creative Nonfiction expresses it, simply put, creative nonfiction is true stories well told. As we continue to think about how we might answer the question, what is creative nonfiction? We'll read Gutkin's essay titled, appropriately enough, what is creative nonfiction? We'll also look at creative nonfiction and overview created by the helpful folks at the online writing lab at Purdue University. After you've watched mini lesson one and mini lesson two and read what is creative nonfiction and creative nonfiction and overview, you'll communicate your own developing understanding of what creative nonfiction is to our class discussion for this week. I look forward to reading your developing understandings of what creative nonfiction is a little later this week.